What's up guys? Today we're gonna replace the sky just like my mom replaced my dad three years ago. Holy crap dad, I miss you so much. <laughs> let's go, let's get into it, let's do it. This video is sponsored by Square, uh, Circle Area. Want to create a stunning website? Go to circlearea.com. They have templates. Use promo code. What was it? I don't think we discussed the promo code for this. It says it's Orion Sucks. Uh, that must be wrong, right? No, we chose it because you suck. Oh. Okay. Anyway, today we're going to learn how to take a boring, dumb sky. So today we're going to learn how to take a boring sky. This sky is boring. Into an awesome sky. This sky is awesome! Also, for this tutorial, we have a really special guest, Post Malone. He'll be sitting... <laughs> yes. Thank you. Um, who will be... Hey. Okay. He will be... Um... <laughs> I just don't understand. So a sky replacement is a pretty versatile effect because you can replace your sky with almost anything. Go for a ride. Sure, Dan. Jump in. So let's see how this process is done and how we can learn how to do it. All right, so this is what we'll be learning today. Okay, so this was the original clip that we're working with here. Nice and clean. And one thing to keep in mind when you're shooting a sky replacement shot is contrast. The more contrast between the object that you're shooting in the sky, the easier it's gonna be in post to pull off the effect. For this shot, we have a lot of contrast going on, but we have a lot of white in the building, which is gonna be an issue when it comes to lumicking out our sky. But I'm like Bob the Builder and we're gonna fix it. So the first thing we wanna do is make this clip have a baby. Duplicate it if you didn't get that. You don't understand. So the way we do that is hold down option, click on the clip and drag her right up and release. Release all of those sounds that are trapped in your mind. So we're just gonna hit V and that'll disable the clip so that we can only see this bottom clip. All right, so let's go ahead and add a luma here to this. So you go to keying and boom. <laughs> Won't be there because I typed in muffled frick. So you're gonna go to keying Boom, drag and drop that Luma key right on there. You can see it's already starting to do something. What the heck is going on? So what a Luma key does is it takes... Ignore that. A Luma key provides a... Blah, 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 okay. A Luma key... So let me tell you what a Luma key does. So think of a Luma key like a green screen. You're taking out the green and replacing the green with whatever you want. In this case, we're replacing the luminance, so the highlights or the shadows with whatever we want. So right now we're taking out the shadows and you can see as I drag these sliders, it's keying out all the dark spots in the video. If we reverse it and take away the highlights, you can see it's already starting to remove our sky. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is exactly what we are looking for. Come right up, who can name the luma? What am I doing? So with this luma key, we're gonna go ahead and drag this sucker over until we're getting rid of most of that sky and just play around with these adjusters and, um, yeah. So bring it all the way up until most of it is gone and soften it out. So that's looking about good. All right, so that's looking pretty dang crappy. And the reason why is because we had a lot of highlights up in this building, which the luma keyer keyed out. But there is a way to fix that because remember, we're Bob the Builder and can we fix it? Yes, we can. So the way we're gonna fix that is bring back this clip that we birthed earlier from this clip. So go ahead and re-enable that by hitting V and it brings up the original clip and we're gonna go to our masks and drop a draw mask on there. Start from the beginning of the clip and we're gonna go ahead and go just about that much underneath the building. We're gonna draw a mask right under the edge of the building. So leaving some space between the mask and the edge of the building there. And we're gonna go all the way around here. 
I'm right in the middle of filming my tutorial! Dude, yes. I need to cut my phone off. Okay, bye. Now that we have maxed out our building, we're gonna go ahead and hit that little fancy invert button. And so what that's gonna do is invert our mask so that we keep the building and all of its detail and blown out highlights in there. The issue that we have now though is since it's a moving shot, that mask stays exactly where it is while the clip moves. And that makes it look like a bull dookie. So the way that we're gonna fix that is keyframe our mask. Go to transform. I never seen a transformer so close up in person. <laughs> and we're gonna hit all these keyframes buttons, making sure we're at the beginning of the clip. Okay, so now that we have all those selected, you're just gonna go frame by frame. Frame, frame. And you're gonna move that mask to keep it in that same position. So you can see there, we went two frames and it's staying nice and put. All right, so once you've keyframed your mask, it should look something like this. As you can see, our subject is completely separated from the background. We're keeping all that detail in the building. It doesn't look too bad. You can see some shakiness up in those edges there, but that won't be too noticeable once we put the fake skies in there. Oh my God, unicorn. Thank you, Princess Alexa. Okay, let's play. No, Alexa, Three, off. Alexa, two, turn one. off. Wasn't talking to you. Oh, uh, I mean, yes, yeah, so let's find a sick time lapse. All right, so we imported this cool time lapse here. So what we're gonna do is just put it right under your clips and bada bing, bada boom, easy as cake and pie mixed together to make you cry. Okay, that's looking pretty good, but I think I'm gonna color it to match the clip a little bit better. So go ahead and get your coloring sponge and go ahead and just boop, 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 Ah, perfect. But we have one last step. If you remember, our original clip looked like this. So how do we get the sky to fade back? You may ask me because I'm talking to you. Well, let me answer you after you've asked me. We do it like this. You wanna go ahead and go to your clip that has the Lumicure effect. Go ahead and select that bad boy. And as you can see over here, our sliders are set to that position all the way through our clip. Doesn't change at all, but we're gonna make it change. How are we gonna do it? So you wanna find the part in your clip where you want the sky to go back to its original skyiness. Yes. So once you found the point where you want your sky to go back to its original state, we're gonna go ahead and hit this little keyframe button over here next to the Lumicure and go ahead about six, seven frames. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hey, it's in my bank account. And boom, your sky is back. Just like that. Mm. Another thing I like to do in my sky replacements or Luma keys is add a little bit of sound, a little bit of texture to the clip to kind of emphasize the sky changing. So for that, what I like to do is add these sound effects called dirt and debris. Boom. But wait! So using this exact technique that we just learned, we can do something really cool. A day to night shot. So let's check this out. So here's our original shot. As you can see, we have a lot of contrast with the sky and the subject, which is going to be really helpful. And for this one, I didn't even use a mask. I just added a sunset time lapse under that and hit that luma here and boom. Whoa, what? Done. No biggie. But you're wondering, well, Ryan. How the heck do we go from night or to, wait, what? Whoa, what? No, we're not going from night to day. But Orion, how the heck do we go from day to night? It's very simple, my dudes. It is Wednesday, my dudes. Ah! So to get this effect, you're gonna do the exact same thing that we did to our first clip. Except this time in the beginning, I replaced the sky with the sunset time lapse and transitioned into the night lapse. But how do we get that nice transition from day to night? So we're gonna go to our color board we're gonna go ahead and bring that exposure all the way down in the highlights. We are then gonna drop our saturation in our highlights and our midtones till it looks just about right. Then we're gonna to go to our colors and we're gonna push up the blues in the highlights and in the midtones. Once we do all that, it's blending with the scene a little bit better now. It's looking more like a nighttime shot, but we still have this really rough cut in between the two shots. The solution is super easy. Just go ahead and go to your dissolves, cross dissolves, and slap that sucker right in there. What this does is create a nice smooth transition from the daytime colors to the nighttime colors that we just created. So it looks something like this. And that's looking a lot better. But we still have this awkward look where the daytime sky just automatically cuts to the nighttime sky. So to fix that, we're gonna go to our sunset time lapse and add a Lumicure. We're gonna reset that. Go to the end of the clip and go about 
One, two, three, four, five, six. Sound eight. Frames back. Go ahead and hit that keyframe button. Go to the end of the clip and drag the shadows all the way over. And now we have something that looks like this. So now to transition from your night sky back to your daytime sky, just go ahead and cut your clip. Go ahead and get rid of that color correction that made it nighttime. So you're back to your original colors in that daytime sky. And now you're looking at something like this. So that's about it. Now you know how to do some sky replacement. Now you know how to do some luma keying. Now you know how to do some masking and keyframing and all that good stuff. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to leave a like her. If you like her, let her know her. Hard like her. I hardly know her. <laughs> did I hit the record button? I don't even know if I hit the record button. Oh yeah, I did. Okay, we're good. <clears throat> okay, back to it. And. Uh